Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White, and in this episode, I actually get to show off one of the additions to CS Live, a set of integrated services for Creative Suite 5, CS Review for video. So let's take a look. We're in Premiere Pro CS5, and what I have on the timeline here is just a sequence that I edited together from my DSLR video that I shot in London. It's just a few seconds, so let's take a look. Outwards, turn. So there's a premiere title, fades in, fades out, and it's about, I don't know, 11 seconds of video. So not that much. So now what I'd love to do is send this off to someone and have them review and comment on it. But here's the problem. Even if I export this out as a video and send it to them or post it online, the problem is making comments in context to where the spots are in the video that they want corrected or changed. So let's take a look at how this would work now with the new CS Review. So I'm going to go to my CS Review panel, which you will find it under the CS Live button in the upper right-hand corner of most of our uh, CS5 products. And what I'd love to do now is I'm on the sequence that I would love to start a review for, and I'm just going to go ahead and say create a new review. And I'm going to say call this one Changing of the Guard. All right, so it's going to say add the active sequence to the review. Great. We'll just click OK. And the next thing it does is it brings up the uh, Adobe Media Encoder to encode the video to put it online so people can review it without having to actually download it and install software. So we'll just go ahead and let it do that. And the improved Media Encoder, as you can see, is very fast. Although it's only 11 seconds of video, it's encoding that as HD flash video just that quickly. Now it's adding that video to the part or as a part of the review because a CS review review can have multiple parts. So I could add things from Photoshop, from InDesign, from Illustrator, or from Premiere Pro in one seamless review that people can take part in online. And we're just about done uploading that uh, short clip. And once we're done, we'll have the option of going to that clip uh, on the web. So let's go ahead and take a look at look at it. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that I want to view this in the browser. It will then take me to my default web browser, take me to acrobat.com, which is the service that hosts all of this for you, and there's my video that's loading up in the browser ready to go. Now at this point, I would be able to of course, make comments myself, but I'm the one that did it, so I don't really need to have my comments in. So more importantly, I would be able to now share this in a couple of different ways. I can share it at, to an individual, and this will bring up a dialog box where I can type in the email addresses or pull them from, uh, from an address book and put them in and give them the message of what I would like them to do, and maybe even a deadline. And once I share it, it will actually send them an email right from the system. So I don't even have to do this in my own email application. Or I can move this to a shared workspace. And this is cool because in a shared workspace, I can have this pre-configured to automatically share it with the group of people that I always work with. So instead of always having to generate emails, I can just move things to the shared workspace and then they would immediately have access to the content. However, let's take a look at how, once they receive that email, click the link, they would be in a, in a, in a uh, browser window, just like the one I'm in now, and they would be able to, of course, play the video. They'd be able to stop the video. They'd be able to scrub the video back in time to any particular part they want. And more importantly, they'd be able to make comments like, do we have a shot where this guy isn't walking through it. Now, the beauty of it here is that not only am I able to make that comment, but as you can see, it's making the comment using the time code of the video. And you're going to see why that's important in just a second. So we'll go ahead and save that comment up. And we can continue to either play or scrub through the video for more. So let's go ahead and scrub ahead. Okay, so now we get to a part where I have a title, that title that fades in. So maybe I want to make a comment here, and again, I can drag, even drag a box around it. So we can say, uh, would love to see this title 
on a color strip or background. So you get the idea. You go through your video, you make comments anywhere you want in the video, and those comments are put into the CS review for all that are taking part in this review to see. So they're listed there. So maybe I've sent this to multiple people, and I don't want people making the same comment that a million other people have already made. So everyone gets to see what everyone else has said. Now we'll go ahead and we'll make one more comment. Uh, let's uh, let's increase the contrast or color correct. All right, so I've made my comments. And of course, like I said, we're doing this in the browser. Don't need to have um, anything special installed on my computer. I don't, you know, the person participating in the review doesn't even have to own or have Creative Suite. But now, more importantly, if we switch back over to Premiere, those three comments are dynamically downloaded into my editing environment. And so they show up here in the CS Review panel. And more importantly, they show up with the exact time code and stamps to where I can now go in and say, take me to that spot in the video where this comment is being made so I can make the correction. So we can go ahead and say, let's take it, take it to this one where we've got the, um, we've got the title suggestion there. So we'll just go ahead and scrub up on, or scroll up on that. And we'll say again, take us to that spot in time. And it already did to where that title is being made. Same thing here. You can do the same thing and say, oh yeah, in that spot, it would be great if we improve the contrast or color corrected this. So as you can see, CS Review is not only for static content, such as you know illustrations or page layout, but it's now for video as well. And I can't think of a better way to review a video than not having to install anything, not having to have anything extra, for all your clients to be able to do it right in their web browser. They can see the video projects you're putting together and make their critiques or comments in context of the video. And you get to see that those comments directly inside of Premiere Pro CS5. So that's it for this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. Thanks for watching.